All right, here we go. Let's uh, try something with a, a box and two pieces of rope. Would you please examine the rope? Make sure it's solid. You do the same. Uh, make sure that the ropes have two ends and a middle. And if you'll hand me the middles, I'd appreciate it. Okay, good. There's a center and there's a center. Now, how would I link these two ropes together? The only way to link them is to drop one of the ends through the center, just like that. That's what you call a link. But Let's just suppose I've left the ends out in full view and place the middles of the ropes inside the box. Make sure those ends do not leave your sight at any time. And something strange happens as these ropes go through the box. Because as the middles pass through the box, they actually pass through themselves on the way through. Now you may think to yourself, hmm, are they really linked? Are there some extra pieces of rope in the box? Is there some kind of little midget in there that unties the ropes and puts them back together? Maybe they're not linked at all. Maybe they just look like they are. <laughs> but the fact is, we have two ropes that are now linked. So I'm going to break this down so that we can look at this in a different perspective. There's a middle. And here's a middle. Two separate pieces. And uh, in fact, let's just make this a little simpler by letting you view inside the box just to make sure everything's okay. Bob, would you reach yeah. inside there and make sure there's no panels or trap doors or mirrors or anything like that? Just no. two pieces yeah. of rope. The same with you, Mr. Biro. Everything look okay? Yeah. And to the audience. So, with that in mind, let's take the magic wand. Bob, I want you to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. And can you see that little loop right here? Put it, put it right through that loop and all the way through the other side. Perfect, just like that. Put them into lockdown. That way, the middles can't fall through the box and out the sides. But if you hold on to the ends and you hold on to these ends, let me just slide these out for just one second. One, two, don't move. Now both pull slowly on the ends until you feel tension. Pull slowly until you feel okay. tension. Keep pulling. You feel the tension? Uh -huh. mm. They must be linked. Mm -hmm. The only way we know for sure <laughs> is to show you the link and the audience gets to see the same picture. Wow. So you can let go of the ropes now. Thank you very much. And do you have any questions? <laughs> I know. How is it done? <laughs> so I'm going to go one step further just for fun. I'm going to use only one piece and I'm going to place that piece of rope through the box and out the other side. And the center of this rope is where, Bob? Right about where is the center of the rope? Right about there. So I'm going to move the center into the center. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just going to tie the ends off just like this. So now we have a circle of rope and a solid ring. Make sure it's solid. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take the ring and just toss it inside the box. <laughs> and we'll see if we can't catch it. Can you hear that sound? <laughs> solid through solid. And uh, let's take it out. Make sure it's really on there, Bob. Yeah, it is. And that's the effect. That's great. And another nice little touch is that you can actually observe and look at the box, make mm -hmm. sure it's okay, there's no trap doors, there's, everything is as it seems. And that's Dean's box. <laughs>